This Microsoft Surface tip is about changing the settings for the pen and it mainly relates to the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Book. In earlier versions of Windows 10, the Microsoft Surface app controlled the functions of the back button there on the top of the Surface Pen. This button is paired to the device by Bluetooth and this is the only part that needs to be paired to work with the Surface tablet. So if I go ahead and click on the Surface app there, if you have one of the earlier versions of Windows 10, you'll see in the Surface app, and the Surface app is something that you can get from the store. In this setting here, on the earlier versions of Windows 10, you will see down the bottom here a section that relates to the pen button on the back there. However, since the anniversary update, so that was the August update to Windows 10, those settings have been moved to sit within the All Settings app in Windows 10. And in fact, there's a little shortcut link for it right here within the Surface app. So we can click on that and open up the Settings app directly to the place that we want to go. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to get it there the long way. We're going to swipe in from the right and we're going to click on All Settings here. So swiping in from the right brings out the Action Center in Windows 10. Click on All Settings to get to the overall Settings app for Windows 10 there. We're going to click on Devices. And then we're going to go to Pen and Windows Ink, just down on the side here. So in the Pen section, you'll see some uh, different uh, settings at the top there, including Show the Cursor, which I actually have turned off so that the cursor doesn't really bother me when I'm working around with the pen. It is still proximity sensitive, but it's just not showing me that dot on the screen. Down in the bottom though, you'll see this area down here. Uh, you'll see pen shortcut. So this is what the button function does on the back of the pen. So this is mainly for the Microsoft Surface, but some of the other devices do have this button as well. So here I've got mine set, and these are the default options here. I have my pen button set to OneNote 2016. That's the uh, Office version of OneNote, not the uh, Universal app. Um, I use that a little bit more than the Universal app just because it has some features that the Universal one doesn't. And then the second option there is if I double click that pen button on the back, it'll take a screenshot and drop that straight into OneNote 2016. Again, the Office version of that. And if I press and hold, that button on the back, it'll actually launch Cortana and start listening to me. So there's lots of different options that you can run there. You can launch a classic app, so that's a Win32 or a uh, traditional desktop program. You can launch with the button on the back, any program, so it might be Microsoft Word or Excel or Outlook. And then also you could launch a universal app. So a universal app is one that you would download from the Microsoft Store. When I click the button on the back of the pen, one, one note will activate. Because OneNote 2016 is a desktop application, sometimes I'll need to watch to see if it's flashing down on the taskbar here. And I'll click on that. Now it comes to the front and it's run that. If I double click on the pen button at the back, you can see that it makes the screen opaque. It's ready to take a screenshot. And if I just wanted to select that little bit of area there, it then asks me to send this screenshot to any location, which I'm just going to drop that straight into my quick notes section there and you can see the screenshot is captured straight there. So that's a really handy feature. And the last setting that I'll demonstrate to you there is the click and hold action on the back button of the pen there. So when I click this, it's going to launch Cortana and start listening to me. So I'll get ready to run a query. What's the weather today? The forecast shows mostly cloudy skies with a high of 31 and a low of 16. So that's how you can customize what the button on the back of the pen does with the Surface Pro 4 or the Surface Book. Um, if you like this tip, feel free to subscribe to our channel below.